Wait a second. You're telling me that there's even luckier moments than these within Roblox Doors Hotel Plus update? Uh, yeah. So many more of you guys were able to send in even crazier moments that we obviously had to make a part two about it. These are even luckier moments in Doors Hotel Plus. What is your luckiest moment? Comment below and you better like and subscribe or else you'll never be lucky again. This first one's crazy though. Imagine just playing the game normally and reaching door 24 only to find these two items paired with each other. Yo. Crucifix. They were able to obtain not only a crucifix, but also some lockpicks as well for an extra bonus. That's so lucky that even Redables themselves said that they should buy a lottery ticket after that one. But uh, what happened to the figure here? This player found the entity helplessly stuck to an invisible wall right above the fence within the newest update. And it seems that the figure could definitely use some help as they got even closer. That's one way to beat the library, but what's this? They're still playing Windows XP? Kinda surprised that Roblox still works on that operating system, to be honest. But this one's crazier. Like, I literally cannot explain this one. Just watch. What the actual- Baba boy. So the guy literally got caught by snare within the greenhouse and managed to survive rush in mid-air like that? The guy must have been using hacks or something. They even had eyes spawn right off the screen too in order to make matters even worse. Some say this might be such a skeleton moment, but apparently a player was able to find the skeleton key so early on in the game that it wasn't even fair at all, bro. Wait, what? No way. Did I just get skeleton key at door 9? I guess you did. This was the earliest I've ever seen any player obtain the skeleton key, which is just pretty crazy. Now, I'm sure we've all heard about lucky blocks, especially when it comes to Roblox Bed Wars, but this was literally a lucky block moment right within doors. My guy literally copped a crucifix right inside of a regular box like that? Like, give us some of your luck, bro. We could all use it. But speaking about chests, we all know that Timothy can pretty much only spawn within regular drawers. But apparently, they can also spawn within regular chests as well? Bro, that's actually pretty wild to say the least. Are these chests programmed the same as wardrobes when it comes to the entity within the game? I guess that's one question for the developers to try and answer. This one's pretty nuts though. This player already had a crucifix, presumably from the Jeff shop, but was able to find yet another crucifix within the game just chilling on the wall under eyes. And you guessed it, I guess the crucifixes are able to stack up if you do indeed collect more than one during a run. But he wasn't the only player to find two crucifixes within a run. This player was also able to find a crucifix right within door 29 while also carrying one of their own as well. Like seriously, is El Goblino placing all of these crucifixes around the game for free? These guys are just way too lucky, man. Again, super lucky. Being able to find a candle by itself is relatively rare, much less a crucifix within the game. But this guy was able to find both the crucifix and a candle over the same exact desk? Not only that, but a battery also spawned within the room just for extra good luck as well. But going back to the candle and crucifix, could that be a sign or message from the server? It seems pretty dangerous having both of these items close together like that. But forget about the skeleton key being found at door 9. Door top was apparently able to find theirs right at door 5 as they claim? We better check this out.
Wow, generally impressed with that moment. And for a split second, we can't see a frame that does show door six, which does confirm that this player was successfully able to find a skeleton key super early on into the game. But you won't believe this. Thomas Official was able to successfully one up door top by being able to find a skeleton key right within door four of Hotel Plus. Like honestly, El Goblino really needs to stop being so generous to these players, man. I couldn't also believe this moment. Obviously, if you do head over to Jeff's shop and buy a crucifix for 250 gold, you can't have the chance of finding two crucifixes as we've mentioned previously. But this player was able to find two crucifixes without buying from Jeff at all? I honestly don't even know what to say. Just the sheer chances of finding a single crucifix within a duo's run is rare enough, but finding two within the same run and not resorting to buying from Jeff? Man's gonna buy two lottery tickets, as Redables has stated. Finally, some skillful luck. Patty claims to have been able to hit last second within the update? Let's check out on their claim. Okay, that was close. Rush was literally right around the corner when the hide animation started for the bed. And fun fact, the bed animation is significantly slower than the wardrobe animation by a couple hundred milliseconds. So the fact that the player was still able to survive is generally way beyond me. Again, even more lucky block moments. First starting off with a player that was lucky enough to obtain two giant bars of solid gold within the game. Unfortunately, these were broken, but it is extremely lucky to run into this said chest glitch. Next up, we had a player that said they found the luckiest chest ever and it appears they were able to find some crazy goodies including a crucifix, some medicines, and also lockpicks. Quite the hookup if you ask me. You even had a player during a speed run obtain a skeleton key, bottle of medicine, and yet again more lockpicks during their lucky chest opening too. And following that, a chest that was literally just filled with medicine bottles as there were three of them all paired together. Like, I honestly want want to speak to whoever has been hiding some of these item combinations within these chests because some of them can honestly be way too much and way too lucky at the same time. But with that being said, what is your luckiest moment within the Doors Hotel Plus update? Let us know down below and take care.